Yo, so I just came on here. I got a funny story time. This recently happened like a couple days ago. Okay. So I was very sick and I actually ended up having bronchitis and I was just coughing a lot. Okay. And so what ended up happening was I had to go. <coughs> I'm still a little bit sick, as you can see. But so I had to go to the ER to get antibiotics. At least that's what I thought in my head. And I realized like I actually didn't need to go because there's other alternative methods to be able to get rid of a, you know, a cold. Um, so one of my friends actually showed me that the best way to get rid of a cold is actually to sweat it out. Right. And I wish I would have actually known that because I would have just saved like probably like two hundred dollars. So but anyway, we were in the ER and then um, what ended up happening was uh, I was with my lady and then, um, you know, we were waiting for a very long time. We were actually like watching Law and Order and we were just waiting such a very long time. So what ended up happening was it was like two hours of us being there. And mind you, it wasn't even really that many people there. But I think what happened was that they were just so short staffed that you know, they probably only had one doctor. So the doctor had to visit everybody. First thing happened is that she went out and then she talked to our nurse, which was like this uh, Caucasian lady. And, you know, she was probably like, I don't know, maybe like 20, late 20s, early 30s. So she went out there and then she communicated to her. She was like, yeah, uh, so when are we going to get an update on what he's supposed to get done? And then she was like, yeah, well, you know, we're going to I'm going to talk to my uh, I'm going to talk to my manager or whatever. And then it was like another hour. later. <laughs> it was like another hour later. Or OK, no, nah, it wasn't like an hour later, but it was probably like 30 minutes later. So it was like another 30 minutes later. And then what ended up happening was that as as uh as she went back in she like told me she was like yeah um you know it was like a long time or whatever we we just kept talking about what we were talking about and then she was like it was a long time um so i think you should go back out there so what i did was i went back out there like what's up like what was where's my uh where's my um you know where's my where's my antibiotics like what's good with you like what's up like and then you know after i did that then they was like, yeah, oh my God, you know, we're, we're gonna give you the antibiotics. And then I was like, yeah, you better give me my antibiotics. <coughs> you better give me my antibiotics. So then like, after like I did that, then they gave me, <laughs> nah, okay, nah, but so this is what happened. I just went out there and then um, I, uh, so after I got the anti, like I went out there and I just asked her, I was like, so what's going on with the update of me being able to see the doctor? And she was like, oh, well, um, you know, uh, we're kind of busy, but I'm going to I'm going to see what I'm going to see if I can get in contact. And then, you know, like a couple minutes later, you know, the lady came. And so my lady was upset because she was like, OK, well, when you did it, then they went and followed through. But then when I did it, they didn't do it. And then I was like, I don't have an answer for you. Maybe like it took time to do it or whatever. So basically, like after that ended up happening um you know the the lady came in and then they just determined that i had bronchitis and then one of the prescriptions that they gave me like they filled it to first of all they filled it to the wrong place this is why i don't even fuck with like regular medicine methods bro like i just like i just like working out and then eating healthy and then i feel like that's the best way to have a good immune system so we went there and then we did that but basically when i told them to put it to the to the giant near where i live they sent it to like another giant like you know maybe like five or ten minutes away and really i where i live is basically kind of like five to ten fifteen minutes away from everything but the point was that that giant is right up the street from my house like and i was kind of like wow like they really did that and then when i got the prescription they didn't even fill out one of them but i mean it worked out because my cough has went down since then but it's still just like the point that you know you guys didn't listen to what your client said and then you're gonna like bill me for this service that you guys didn't even really provide you guys took such a long time to provide but anyway 
so then we went like then um it was at the end right and then my lady like we was like we was about to get out of there because i was trying to get discharged and i was like bro i'm trying to get up out of here so then like we ended up going and then uh and then what ended up happening was like uh the lady my nurse was like she was like she came up to me and then she was like did you have an iv and then i was like yo i didn't like what's up with you and then what's crazy is that she had a ring on her finger and then i was like damn and then i kind of thought like my lady was gonna be like yo like what are you doing um but she didn't do that but she just commented on it and then we kind of laughed about it but it was just like at that point i was like well I, I didn't even, I didn't even have on like a, like I had on like, you know, a coat and like, I'm not even that big anymore, bro. Like my muscles aren't even like, like that anymore. Like they're, I'm getting bigger, like, and I'm getting back to that strength, but really it's just, you know, I got to lose more body fat. So that's basically just what I've been doing. And then like, once I do that, then like, you know, I'm going to be back to where I need to go. So, but basically, that's just it. That's the story time, man. It was just kind of funny how, like, you know, the lady at the end, like, she was just like, do you have an IV? And then I was just like, damn, my lady is right there in front of me. What do you think I should have done? Do you think I should have been like, whoa, 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 I have a lady? Or do you think I should have just been like, like, that's what, that's what my lady said to do. She was like, you should have been like, and then that would have been so rude, though. That would have been so rude. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much just it. And uh, that was my little story time. So right now I'm just here uh, and I'm working at the Cultural Arts Center right now. So I think I'm also going to give you like an update video on that as well. And um, yeah. So, I mean, with that being said, man, you know, just I hope that when you go to the ER the next time that you don't like you know you have some patience that's the thing that i had i had patience going in there and i kind of knew like that this would take some time and i wasn't really tripping about it um but yeah it was just a long day man it, uh, it took a long time and i was still in there coughing and it's like cold season so what i encourage you to do is like cover up i usually just wear the least amount of clothes possible for like things that i have going on but I encourage you to wear, like, you know, cover up. So, yeah, man, with that being said, I'm about to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this story time. And, um, <clears throat> you know, peace out. Thank you, Motion Crew. All right, peace.